My reputation as a bitch is <laughs> huge. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yasmin Guarari was a favorite on the catwalk at her time. She seems to have just dropped off the face of the earth, but that's not exactly the case. She recently celebrated her daughter's graduation. She seems to be one of the most sought after 90s supermodels to document, as well as one of the most mysterious. Let's dive into her history as a short-lived model. Yasmin Guarari was born on March 23, 1971 in Montreal, Canada. Born to a German mother and Pakistani father, she grew up Muslim and was often bullied for her Pakistani heritage. She was working at McDonald's when she was discovered at 17 by Edward Zachariah. Her parents disapproved, but she modeled anyways. She debuted in Milan and Paris before moving to New York in 1990. Fashion critics fell in love with her. Her walk was described in New York Times as a ball-bearing swivel of her hips. She starred in Elton John's music video for Sacrifice and became the face of Chanel and Jill Sander in 1990. Her career, when compared to her hiatus, is perplexing. She seemed to be on top of the world, but some models carry a very realistic outlook on the industry. Typically, they are in by 15 and out by 23. Guari was in by 17 and out by 25. She stepped out of an Yves Saint Laurent show in 1997, then out of the spotlight entirely. I'm not an actress. I was always really shy and it was very hard for me to get into this business because you, you can't be shy at all in this business, but uh, it worked out well. I'm 20 years old. I was born in Canada. I don't understand why I'm doing well and I don't know what I look like. I always thought I was white, but now apparently I'm exotic, so I couldn't even describe myself. And especially since I cut my hair, I don't feel sexy one bit. But that's nice to hear, though. It's really glamorous to look at, but the work that's involved to get to the glamorous stage is really difficult, and that's not glamorous at all. It's very hard work, and I'm not always thrilled about the work that I have to go through, but in the end, I would not give it up. If I stopped, I would regret it right away. When she was totally wet, and her hair was all back and all you could see was the shape of her skull and her cheekbones and her eyes. It was like looking at this incredible primitive beauty. Although Kate wasn't one of the original supermodels, she fit right in with them as she also spearheaded the 90s waif movement. Her most recent and controversial outing saw her involved in providing a testimony for the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard defamation case. She was mentioned by her during the hearing in an incident involving her falling down the stairs, which allowed for cross-examination by Depp's defense team. She denied being thrown down the stairs by Johnny Depp. Uh, during the course of your relationship, did he ever push you down any stairs? No, he never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. And as for fellow newcomer Tyra Banks, she made modeling a game show and a sadomasochistic tool to bully other girls like Naomi bullied her. But beyond that, her legacy as a Victoria's Secret model and Sports Illustrated cover girl is secured. She plans to venture more into producing and acting once again. When I first saw Supermodels, I was like, wow, look at Claudia Schiffer, Naomi Campbell, Land Evangelista, Christy Turlington. Have you guys ever had like a quote unquote supermodel get in front of you and like, I'm here, I'm getting my makeup done now. Oh. Yeah, no, no question, all the time. Up next, the legendary Cindy Crawford. She was one of the big six along with Naomi. Her daughter is her twin and her superior on the catwalk. Today, she enjoys being a mother to her model daughter, Kaya Gerber, and model son, Presley Gerber. She was also the host of the now iconic MTV style. She really mastered supermodel as a brand before it really was one. Some of the models have emerged as stars, and among these runway stars, none shines brighter than 26-year-old Linda Evangelista. Linda lives here in Paris, and so we thought we'd take this opportunity to sample a day in her life. So today, Chanel, on Wednesday, is Hervé Léger. It's um, his first show, and he's my... the one I've decided to do this season for free. Each season, I choose a young, new designer to support. I always wanted to be a model. I was obsessed with it. I mean, I read every fashion magazine from the time I was 12, but I never thought I would become this. The idea of a supermodel as luxurious and disconnected figure in pop culture can be attributed to none other than Linda Evangelista. Miss $10,000 a day. I appreciate her chameleonic image and natural charm. 
In recent years, she shared that she had a cool sculpting procedure gone wrong that left her botched, disfigured, and unable to continue modeling. I featured her in my documentary titled The Psychology of Celebrity Plastic Surgery and Body Dysmorphia. We always have a lot of free time to think because we don't have any responsibilities. Like we don't choose the makeup, we don't do the makeup, we don't do the clothes. It's not our fault if something doesn't work. You know what I mean? So we have the same type of life as business members. We don't have the worries of it. So we have plenty of empty time to think of things. That's why we're so smart. Carla Bruni as the template for Bella Hadid's face. She also had my all-time favorite moment and the documentary unzipped when asked to change in front of the audience at the Isaac Mizrahi show. The idea, you know, you're uncomfortable. Be careful, I tell you, you don't want to put it. Parlare italiano, you don't parlare italiano, non sono italiano, lui che italiano. Christy Turlington was another model featured in the doc. She was discovered while riding horses and she actually met Naomi when she was first signed. She was Naomi Campbell's first roommate. She recently starred with her husband in a Calvin Klein eternity ad. Let's end on someone timeless. Naomi Campbell is simply the most famous of them from that era and the longest lasting. She is currently enjoying motherhood and being a continued presence in the fashion industry for more than 30 years after her debut. Some models like Kate and Naomi have been discussed in their own solo documentaries on this channel. There will surely be more documentaries on the fashion industry in the future. Naomi, do you think that in five years people will still be saying, she's a bitch? I hope so. I hope they do. I'm going to be remembered for something. I'm going to be remembered for being a bitch. But a hard working bitch. And a loyal bitch. <laughs> you know Stephanie Seymour? She's one of the big supermodels from back in the day. And she's calling out these it girls, like um, Kendall Jenner and Gigi Hadid. They aren't really super hmm, models. They are, you know, hmm, you know, Bitches of the moment. Oh.